So thin and crispy cookies just like this one are hugely popular and I never really knew why. So I got into the BBB kitchen, I started testing recipes. Now don't get me wrong, I was always ride or die, chewy cookie, gooey in the middle, all of that yumminess. However, after testing these recipes, I have to say that I think I've been swayed to thin and crispy. So this isn't a traditional cookie dough recipe. Usually you cream the butter or you melt the butter. We're doing something a little bit different here to get you that thin and crispy result. So I'm gonna make mine in a food processor. Don't worry, you can do this step all by hand without a food processor. And I'm gonna put that information on my website along with the recipe. So into my food processor, I'm going to add in my dry ingredients, my flour, white sugar, brown sugar because every good chocolate chip cookie has to have brown sugar in there for those lovely caramel tones, some baking soda, and of course my favorite salt. So I've started using a lot of sea salt in my baking because it has big granules and you get that lovely little surprise bite of salt as you eat your baked goods. Um, you can use table salt, that's totally up to you. I'm just gonna give those a little stir around. Now into our dry ingredients, we're going to add in our cold cubed butter. And then on with our hat. Now here's what makes this cookie dough different. We're gonna pulse this up until the butter resembles kind of fine breadcrumbs. We're not gonna cream it, we're not gonna melt the butter like you would normally see in a cookie dough. So just give it a quick blitz. Only takes a few seconds. Like I said, you can do this by hand using your fingers or a pastry blender. And that's all it takes. Now we're just gonna add in our wet ingredients. So in a little separate bowl over here, I'm going to crack in my egg and I'm going to add in my vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is so important when it comes to chocolate chip cookies. Probably my favorite thing about a chocolate chip cookie. That and the chocolate and the salt and the gooeyness. Then just pour that into your food processor and blend it until your dough starts to come together. Okay, so this is looking good. Lastly, I'm going to add in my bittersweet chocolate chunks. Check that out. I got a big bar of 72% cocoa solids. I chopped it up nice and big, nice and small, and I'm gonna throw that in there. So there you go. Your dough only takes a few seconds to come together, and this is what it looks like. And have a little taste. Oh my gosh, I love raw cookie dough. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop this into a bowl and then get it into the fridge and let it chill for around an hour just so it's easier to scoop. So our dough is chilled, I've got my tray ready to go. Here is the secret about these cookies. Don't make the same mistake that I did. You want to scoop a level tablespoon. And when I say level, I mean level. I am always tempted to do a big scoop of cookie dough, but these guys spread out a lot. So a level tablespoon onto your tray, give them a lot of space in between each cookie, just a few on a tray, and then you'll be golden. I'm gonna go crazy today and scoop two trays of cookies because this cookie dough makes around 45 to 50 cookies. And just make sure to put them in the palm of your hand and round them out, just so they bake nice and round then also. Okay, lovely. Cookies are fantastic. They have all of the space that they need. They're not gonna bake into each other, fingers crossed. Let's pop these guys into the oven. So bake your thin and crispy cookies off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Don't worry about over baking these. We want them to be lovely and crisp. After 15 minutes, your cookies will look just like this, golden brown all over. As you can see, they are really thin, which is what they're supposed to be. And they have these lovely crinkles around the top, just these lovely cookie ripples. So be patient for five minutes, let your cookies cool down and get crisp. Once your cookies have cooled down, snap and enjoy. Oh my gosh, so crispy. Let me know in the comments below whether you are team crispy or team chewy. And if you are team chewy and I didn't manage to convince you, then you can definitely check out my chewy cookies. You wanna watch closely because they have a secret ingredient. I'll see you back here again really soon.